in beautiful Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. And guess who's cooking for me today? I'm at the Culinary Institute here in Charlottetown with Chef Andrew Nicholson. And Andrew, you are going to show me what we can do, a different thing, what we can do with PEI potatoes. What are we going to do today? Today we're going to do PEI potato roasty. A roasty, a okay. Roasty. Now, if you're on Tuesday you do your baked potatoes for yes. dinner, and you're wondering what to do on Wednesday, cook a few extra on Tuesday Tuesday, and let them sit overnight in the skins in the fridge okay and then the next day we'll make roasted potatoes okay so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take skin on cooked potato and we're gonna grate it on the, ch on the cheese grater so you just use your you just kinda grate so, it like you would cheese okay so this is a time saver so when you're baking making baked potatoes one night make a bunch of extra and store them so that it's easy the next day all you have to do is grate them exactly and you leave the skins on because there's a lot of fiber and health benefits to the, to the skin being left on. And we're going to do a couple of different varieties because they're very easy to make. So once you get the potato grated, you season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. And then we have it in the, in the saute pan with a little bit of oil just to get it started. Okay. And then we add little pads of butter around the outside just to kind of help with flavor and adding, evening out the color distribution. Okay. So you just put a little bit of butter around the outside. Yeah. And just swirl it around a little bit. Okay, and then we have to flip it. So we have to flip it. We, we flip as it. in we as me. In you. Yeah, <clears throat> we have to flip it over because we got to cook the other side. So just like a. I am not the chef here, so if I make a mess. Well done. Did you see that? Did you saw this? Okay. <laughs> flipped. Flipped. Okay. Nice and browning. And then if you <laughs> think it's getting too dry, you turn down your heat a little bit. And we can add a little bit more butter. Okay. But there's very versatile. This particular one, we've added bacon and, and apples to it for seasoning and flavor. Okay. An alternative. Um, and then we also have one with sour cream and lobster. So these ones up here, they do not have apples in them. That's just for something different. That's just different. for something different. Okay. Yep. So these ones are just plain potatoes, just potatoes grated. Potatoes, grated, salt and pepper, a little bit of butter. Okay. Just like we did. Uh, we have lobster with sour cream. Excellent. We have some smoked salmon. With a Again. lemon sour cream. Okay. And then we have, instead of making it gluten free, using it as a pizza crust. So we have a, a bruschetta chicken and pesto, basically a pizza. Okay, so you mentioned gluten free. So this is for people who can't have normal dough and, and, and breads and stuff, potatoes are gluten free. Yes. So basically, so something like even a, a, an English muffin on the bottom of a. Uh, Eggs Benedict. Right. Yeah. You so can just add an egg, egg and add some holiday poached sauce. Poached eggs over top of the roasty with the holiday okay. sauce. Okay. Okay. So there's a great option. Um, I guess if you also made them a lot smaller, you could use them as hors d'oeuvres, little hors d'oeuvres. Stick a bit of smoked salmon and a nice, really fancy decorative toothpick in them, and yep. have a whole tray of yep. them. Yeah. And if you want, if you're worried about timing, you could always do them ahead of time. Put them on a cookie sheet and just flash them in the oven just before service, just so to they're reheat warm, them. just to reheat them. So they're already done wow. ahead of time and stress free. Okay. Thank you so much, Andrew. I am Heather Moist, 2010 Olympic gold medalist, and I eat DEI potatoes. Thanks for watching.